Um, and I know there's different branching paths, which is pretty cool, but I don't know, like, uh, these kind of games, I, f I felt that it, they would have done better having uh, smaller, smaller stages, but more of them, like more stages, instead of just these giant transitions into these huge fucking open areas. Um, what else? Uh... The boss fights, I must say, very, like I said before, very reminiscent of old school style beat em ups or, you know, just old school games in general. Many, many boss fights. Most of them were. First off, they were interesting. The character designs were interesting. They all had their own personalities, their own style of uh, fighting and stuff like that. Some of them were super fucking cheap, I must say. Um. The biggest one uh, is probably, I mean, I raged a lot, but I think the one I, I hated the most was that Vortex bitch. The I think she was like the queen, um, where she was like shooting those purple balls, those red and purple balls in the, she, she gets in like in the middle of the room and then the balls go everywhere and I would get fucking hit by them and I could not figure out what the fuck to do. Her and the second time that you fight that angel dude, the the one that you fight outside the first time, but then he like he gets hurt really bad and then he comes back. Um, when he shoots his gun and those 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 uh, orange balls goes everywhere, I died so many times. It spent me it spent like I think like half an hour trying to beat him. Um, I don't know nothing else really to say. Um, still a good game. Um, I still highly recommend. Uh, buying it uh, for 15 bucks, I'd say it was worth it. I got about a good, I don't know, about a good six, about well, five to six hours of gameplay. Um, so if you're watching this, uh, you saw how difficult things are, so don't expect it to be, you know, an easy game. I never played any of the other Strider games, so if it's anything like how difficult they they were uh, back in the day, then I guess they hit it on the they hit the nail on the head with the uh, with this game of, as far as like difficulty um, I heard Strider was gonna be a hard game and I'm pretty sure the original Striders were much harder than this game so anyway uh, thank you for watching uh, my playthrough on Twitch uh, I'm gonna be uploading these to YouTube uh, later on and uh, this will be my second playthrough uh, that I've ever completed, uh, uploaded to YouTube, so, it's been fun. Let's see if there's anything at the end of the, the loading. Mission accomplished. Horrible fucking ending. <laughs> Damn. That's it? So, I just killed a guy. I ride his carcass, which is pretty cool. Ride his dead body down to Earth. Mission accomplished. That's that's it. Alright, keep it simple, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Rehue's mission is complete. Would you like to save your game? All games, blah, 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 will be... Begin a new game, yeah. Took me four hours and twenty one minutes twenty six seconds. Game completion forty five eight. What does that mean? I guess that means I missed a lot of um unlockables and stuff. Oh yeah, that's one more thing I'd like to say. Uh it's cool they added a lot of concept art and unlockables. I, I really dig that, so let's check some of the, the stuff out. Some some of the concept art I unlocked. All right, I'm not gonna check all of these. Oh, dragon. Let's see this one. That's cool. So as you can see, they added a lot of uh, extra unlockables in this game. If I decide to play this game again, I'll uh, I'll try to get them all. 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. There's bio sheets for characters. There's uh, intel, story intel, level, stages, all that kind of stuff. There's challenge mode. Ah. I'll probably create a separate playthrough for the challenge mode, but, uh... Check my leaderboards real quick. How how badly did I do? I don't know. I'll check mine. Uh, what? Where's where am I? I don't want to see that go. I want to see where I'm at. Is there a way I can see mine? Oh, there I am. I'm ranked 158 out of... That's one thing I wish they would do on leaderboards. They would tell you, like, how... What rank you are compared to everyone else, like, out of how many. Uh... Well, I'm not gonna go through this. I'm ranked 100... 158 apparently, so. I'm just curious, do I. Do I gotta keep my, uh, my stats? My unlockables? Skip this. Nope. Nope, it's all gone. So, there is no New Game Plus for this game. That kind of sucks. No new game plus, so if you start the game over again, uh, you you basically you don't get to keep every anything that you collected, which does make sense because uh, the way the game works is um you know there's a lot of backtracking. Uh, there's a lot of doors you can't open at first because you don't have the right plasma types, so you have to progress through the game. Uh, collect the uh, plasma types after you defeat certain bosses then you backtrack and then you can open those doors so it makes sense that they wouldn't give you those as new game plus because then you would just speed run through the game you wouldn't even have to fight like most of the bosses and you could probably beat the game in like an hour or two or something okay so that's strider for you guys i hope you enjoyed the playthrough uh, gonna be playing some Donkey Kong Country uh, Tropical Thunder next, so that'll be my next game that I will be playing and uploading to the YouTubes. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this playthrough on YouTube, uh, check me out also on Twitch at Nemesis X Gaming. And uh, yeah, you guys take care. Peace out.